YouTube, it's Faye, and today I'm gonna to show you how to install a camshaft position sensor on a 7M engine. Now, as you can see, this is the upgraded Drift Motion Digital CPS. However, these install steps are the same if you have an OE unit. The internals just look a little bit different. We're gonna start by setting the engine to DDC. Now, the factory service manual recommends removing the oil fill cap and turning the engine over until you can see the cam lobe through the oil fill. This is so that you know that you're not 180 degrees out. Now, I have my 19 millimeter socket on a long handled ratchet and I'm turning the engine over, lining up the TDC. DC mark on my crank and camshafts. This method is fine, but I'm kind of old school and I like to watch the number one piston actually come up. This is also the way my mentor Danny taught me. So I did pull a spark plug and I stuck a little T-handle wrench in there and I'm watching it rise and you can see the top of my piston through the spark plug hole. Now the factory service manual asks you to turn it counterclockwise then forward again. This is to loosen the tension on the belt. So let's do that and verify that we're back at TDC again. All right, good to go. Now, if you haven't installed a new O-ring already, the FSM reminds you to do that now. It has a very specific shape. It's a square cut seal with a groove like you see here. Now we're gonna line up the drilled mark with the groove. The drilled mark is different than the pin that holds the gear on. It's indented and doesn't have a mirror equivalent on the other side of the shaft. Now, if you have your cover off, you will see that the cam wheel or the outer wheel will be lined up with its pickup when you have these marks aligned properly. Now let's lube up the O-ring. I have this assembly lube, but oil or sill glide will also work just fine. Next, align the bolt hole on the cylinder head with the center of the adjustment slot as best as you can and gently tap the CPS into the hole. As you mesh the two gears together, the helical cut will force the CPS to spin forward a little bit and knock your perfectly aligned gear forward away from the trigger. Now install your bolt. Tighten it just a little bit snug, but not super tight just yet because you're still gonna have to grab a timing light check your timing and make adjustments. But that little forward motion of the gear will actually set you close to that 10 degrees before top dead center specification that you want to see at idle. And that is how you install a camshaft position sensor on a 7M.